How's it going, ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Six Killer, and welcome back to Smile for Me. Um, we're starting to get a bit, uh, a bit stuck there. We've cheered up eight members. That's a good start, but I don't really know what to do next. Like, I have this one who needs a picture of a butt somehow. An umbrella fell off the roof the other day. It dropped right past this window. I barely had time to reach for my camera before it fell out of view. Can I get the, can I get the umbrella? I just want a still object to photograph. Any object. As long as it's right outside this window, then I'm not the least bit picky. I need to get to the roof for that. They can smell like death for all I care. Anyway, you here to admire my portfolio? No. See you later. And we're gonna go get more hints. Any more hints we can possibly get. I used to spend every day in the lounge, but misery hates company. I saw some advertisement hung up in the bathroom. But I never touched it. I don't trust the paper here. It's much too conversational. <sighs> all I want is definite proof of my wonderful future. I know. I'm sure you can find someone who has all the answers. Good fortune must lie somewhere. Someone who has all the answers. Alright. I'm not talking to you guys. Let's try this paper in the bathroom she's talking about. Let's start with that. I don't see any paper in here. Oh, maybe in there. Well, I don't have any way to get through that. Alright, let's talk to you. Give me another hint. Oh, I just remembered. Oh yeah, yours is on the roof as well. I was totally looking around that art gallery on the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got, mis you got photosensitive or something. I can still feel that contract looming over me. I can't reach it through the bars, but maybe you can mess it up another way. Photosensitive, what does that mean? Yeah, I know. I'm stuck, man. Sometimes the right answer is right in front of you, kid. Blake needs a real bona fide slice of blue cheese. Yes, blue. Not blue. Well, I can practically smell it from here. This? There we go! It's the recipe! Now we're cooking with gas! And by gas, I mean imagination! <laughs> and by cooking, I mean putting trash together. Cool. The mushrooms and cheese seem to be in good spirits. But I think we're gonna have to inspire the meat. She's beautiful, but she needs some confidence. Shh, play along. Hey, total stranger. This meat sure looks tasty, right? And isn't her marbling divine? Isn't she the most beautiful girl in school? And there we go, the meat is happy meat. One last thing before the Jamothian, Jamothan special is complete. We're gonna have to tenderize her. Oh my god. Uh... I'm gonna stop saying her. I'm saying you've got to punch it with your all. Slap that meat. <laughs> oh my god. Is that good? You, help me. The cloth is in the hands of the elites. We must reclaim that sweet, sweet cape material. That tent was erected by Habit himself. You wouldn't even notice a cape-shaped hole in the side. My powerful voice strikes fear in the enemy's heart. But you are quiet, flower agent. Sneak up and do your duty. I'm counting on you. Okay. This? This tent? Ah. It was there all along. I could have done it ages ago. Here. Flower power. Ha <laughs> ha. Now I can fly. Maybe. This is it. I'm finally ready to face the green menace. Someday you'll have to face him too. When that time comes, you'll need this tool of justice. <gasps> That's what we needed for everything. Everything is good now. Don't tell no one I gave you this. Good luck, my emissary of power. Yes! 
I gotta go slap some meat. I'll be right back. There's so much we can do with this. Rawr! How's that? And voila! I mean, it's done. Got food, sort of. Ah, my son loved this recipe. That weirdo. <laughs> Sadly, I miss him. Don't tell anyone I said that. I should have microphoned that. Megaphoned that. I'll be back. I'm gonna go give him the dish. And then we can punch this over here too. So much to punch. In so little time. Oh! My dad's signature recipe, huh? Did he say anything about me? Was it about sports or girls? And what, was it about mama? Maybe I better talk to him after all. I do kind of miss him. Hey! And tell him I said that. My stomach's confused. <laughs> but at least I'm full. Maybe I'll go pay my old man a visit. Okay. Good. You work on that. I got this over here now. My friend, I don't yet see a boxing glove. Don't you? Don't you? Wait, wait. A punching glove. Then we may begin. This is a whack a mola A toothy game to conquer your toothy shame. Okay. The rules of this dental diversion are oh so simple. Teeth grow from the board. Then you must punch and crunch. Sounds horrible. Rotten teeth are yellow and yucky. Smash them and crash them. Healthy teeth are blue and beautiful. Don't smack them, whatever you do. Prepare your glove. Then we begin, I dare declare. Die, yellow tooth. Happy blue tooth. You're good to go. Alright, alright. How good do we have to do? Face your fears, you can do it. I'm not afraid of gross teeth. How many do we need? How many are we going for? 20? Purge those rotten teeth. I am. I don't actually have that many teeth to give up. If not 14. That's a lot of teeth to give up, man. I'd have none left. <laughs> Go. Are we good? Bring it on! Sorry. I'm calm. Our game has come to a close and your score is... Why, that's a whopping 23 points! Is that good? I mean, I couldn't have gotten more. Why, to see such a humble human earn such a stunning score... It practically makes me crumple. You deserve this. In an earlier time, it once made father happy. That's why he stashed it inside of me. Oh, it's another one of those. A chunk of attendant. You've won the penultimate prize. A tiny piece of me, left by my creator. I don't want the penultimate prize, I want the ultimate prize. Don't you feel better, relieved, rejuvenated? No. I have to cook up a trickier challenge. Come back tomorrow for the ultimate game. Alright. What do we get? January 9th, 1983. This is a lot newer. College is filled with the saddest folks. All they do is pout and complain. What? Burying their smiles under frown blankets and bad. Why do frowners get to have all their teeth and not a smiler like me? I didn't want to be a doctor, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. By fixing the people who are broken and chipped, perhaps I can assist the spread of happiness. Maybe the things are not so bad after all. Did you know that all flora and fauna need brushes to live? Brushes to, l to live? Potted plants would live forever if they simply scrubbed their teeth. That's a bona fide health fact. <gasps> Do I need to scrub the teeth of that flower that I planted? Maybe. 
Hi. The green menace awaits in his lair. I just know it. Good luck, my emissary of power. I'm gonna go talk to that guy's dad now. I'm gonna get the megaphone ready. No kidding. Parsley? He's soft. Makes sense that he'd come here. Not that I'm soft or nothing. I used to play sports, you know. I was just hired here. I ain't upset about nothing. Nothing. Well, I suppose I'm a little worried about Parsley. Ah, the sports yelly thing. For... <laughs> I like to have fun. Just kidding. Wave that screen box in my face again, you're really gonna hear it. Okay, I'm sorry, Jesus. He always looks like he's about to dang blow up. <laughs> Hopefully my special made him think of me. Oh! Since you're nice and a customer, here's the bathroom key. <gasps> yes! Oh shit, it's night time, I gotta go, bro! I'm gonna get in trouble. I've had to lock it ever since that purple woman came around. I gotta go, I gotta go. Bathroom karaoke is a thing, believe it or not. Sorry, man, I gotta go. Jesus Christ, I might have left it too late. Shit, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, we're in trouble. We're in so much trouble. Oh, thank God. You can barely keep your lids open. Come rest with me. Didn't think we were going to make it there. I thought we were in trouble. Howdy! That's hello in bed speak. Did you know, when you dislike a whack, wacky neighbor, never be direct and said tell everyone how mean they are. What? It's called... an egging. And they'll love it. Toodaloo, partner. Alright, day 12. We're nearly halfway. Nearly halfway. Alright, we've got a lot to do still. Um... We'll hit the bathroom next, I guess. And that's the obvious place to go. Um, yeah. Oh, hey. Hey, flower vendor. The lounge is pretty sweet. So is my dad. It's like all the lameness got sucked out of him. Or actually, it's more like it has to do with me. What do you mean? I don't know what that means, but I'm glad you're happy. One totally free fortune. Bring it to me, the fortune teller. Yay! Flush? Okay. Toilet teeth. Okay. Alright, we got the ultimate thing to do. And we might be able to get to the roof now. We gotta play the ultimate game first with this guy. My god, we're carrying so much crap. Ah, my skin clad sidekick. You returned to defeat your toothy trepidation. You may have conquered the smallest of your fears, but now you will face the largest. Are you prepared? Then ring the bells of war! Alright. This is gonna be a lot harder, I think. Let's do it. How good do we have to be? This looks like it's gonna be fast. Oh, this is gonna get hard. Shit. It takes me a minute to process whether they're a good tooth or a bad tooth. Smack them silly. I'm trying. Nineteen. How many do we need? Not 
Those are all okay. Bed. Bed tooth. Let the game heal you. I'm trying. If I smack one bad, one good tooth, am I in trouble? Like, how in trouble am I for that? Thirty-six. Come on. Oh shit. Forty. Our game has come to a close, and your score is. Why? That's a whopping forty points. Is that good enough? What a stupendous score, you truly are. Wait. Oh my friend, do I hear the manifestation of your deepest fears? The Tyranitooth! Strike it, strike! Fleshy friend, you did it, you conquered your fears. And now, I will proceed to present your prize. Are you ready? Airhorn! That's good. Another happy customer. The old father would be oh so proud of me. What the hell's the air horn for? Oh no. All right, uh, we got a lot to do still. We need to give the free, uh, the free fortune telling thing to the lady, and then we can get to the roof. And then there's oh so much more to open up. And the teeth. I don't know what the teeth are for. I used to spend every day in the lounge, but misery hates company. I saw some advertisement hung up in the bathroom, but I never touched it. I don't trust the paper here. It's much too conversational. <sighs> all I want is definite proof of my wonderful future. I'm sure you can find someone who has all the answers. Good fortune must lie somewhere. I can't use that on you? Who the hell do I use it on then? <laughs> this is great. <laughs> what are the teeth for? <gasps> Wait! Can I use the teeth on that plant? No? <laughs> Shit. I don't know then. Well, I thought we had all the answers. I thought we'd figured it all out. But no. Fortune teller. You got a coupon. Well then, it, it, it's fortune time. Hmm, the ball will shine if your fortune is fortuitous. Uh... Uh-oh. There's no light on this crystal ball. So, uh... You get this. You are ugly, lol. Certificate of ill fortune. Better luck next time. God damn. Take that. <laughs> Maybe I need a hint about something. I don't know. The teeth. Gross, you want a hint about this item? It looks like Marth. Martha. Maybe someone out here wants to kiss it. I wonder who would want a tiny Martha like that. You. My, my. This is perfect. So beautiful. Looks just like her. Get choked up with her. Thank you. My good businessman, so I'll pay you. With this treasure I found by the garbage fire. Oh god, it's another one of these. Now run along now. That's only semi-useful. I got a gift to give. I hope I get a kiss. Alright, so we got another one of these. October 45, 1988. They don't appreciate us. Now after all we do, fix and glue and mend and make broken people whole, they hate us? 
We build their smiles, fix their teeth, make them shine and sparkle. And they do not even thank us. Just scream and runsies away. I don't want to be part of this unfair system. Why give sad people full smiles? They hold their little teeth to themselves, not sharing grins with the whole, with the wide, with the world. While there's so many happy folks, you do not have the teeth to smile with like me. My mind is made up. I'll not be a dentist. Period. Okay. Hmm. I'm running out of options here. I can go punch somebody. Maybe that'll help. Punch your face. Jerk. Hmm. What we gotta do is get to the roof. Somehow. And trick this thing. Well now it's lit up. It's shining. Oh! The sun is shining on the crystal ball. So you just had to do it at the right time of day. It glows with passion. You've earned yourself a symbol of great fortune. Like, stop whining about how unfortunate you were. What did that say? You make your own change. Make some friends. Yay! We got it. Maybe we can get to the roof now. Finally. That's going to open up so much more. I did it, lady. Now get out of the way. Oh, let me read this. So I was lost in my head this whole time, huh? I have a lot of thinking to do. I'll be sunbathing on the roof later, if you need me. I have a career to think about. Now I gotta wait for her to leave? I think I'll shoot for the Joe's Baloney Hut deal. I can't do anything else until she goes away, so I might as well hit the, hit the hay. Please get inside me? Gross. I need this, partner. <laughs> so creepy. Uh-oh. My hippity hoppity habitions. May the sun rise to meet you. May the wind not blow you off the roof. It's hip. It's happening. It's you. You. You know who I'm talking to. You're like a little nasty virus of happiness. You remind me of myself. And I hate it. The habitions are lost causes. Let them frown their days away. To make an omelette, you must break a few eggs. Anyways. Welcome to the terrace, the coolest place in town. Where people stand up high and think about non-existing. Not existing. <laughs> but we're days away from our big event with dear Martha. Everything's in order. Everyone seems to be ready. Yeah. Are you? <laughs> Are we halfway? I think we're just about halfway, yeah? 30 members are being cheated. Oh, we're over halfway. Dude. Alright, we're gonna hit the upstairs. We're not gonna have a lot of time. And we're out of time for the episode, but uh, we'll just let this one run a little bit long. We just need to cut this. Button. Oh my god, we're carrying so much stuff now. Yeah. Ooh. Glasses. Seductive specs. That's for the teacher lady. Yes. This is going well. That's scary. Please stop. Okay. Not weird at all. Hello. You new? Hey kid. Got a yell? Any yells? What the hell's a yell? No. 
you know, the hoot hoot boys, the owls, with wings, like owls. Ah, birds, love them. Funny little guys. That's why I got these knocks. With these knocks, you can see birds with your naked little eyes. You're not naked, you're using binoculars. You know, I heard a little something through the grapevine. You're a helpful little creature. And I've been looking to get a yellow my very own. Yeah, that's right. A scary night birdie. Buddies, you'll help me get a nice little yell. Ah, I knew you'd say yes. Here's some hot yelling tips. First off, give me a hand. Here, take my falconer's glove. Ah, that's creepy. Birds get really into that texture. You'll need to coerce the little guy to sit his... Sit his... Took us on this glove. They're like big open air too, so you want to see them inside. You also need to do this all night. You also can't stand the sun. They do like fire. Bring him here when he's ready. I want to see my little boy. Not weird at all. So many people to talk to here. Hello. Hey. You. Punch lots of heads. Uh. Punch 20 more heads. Uh. Revolution. Okay. Stay right there. Uh. 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 I punched your head. Hello. Uh. A hat. Someday. Uh. Scryed at curse. Uh. What trick? Ah, you're the one. My hat. Someone buried it under that tree. What tree? Okay. Someone buried your hat under a tree. Okay, I'll have a look for that. Don't you worry about it. <gasps> ah! This tree? Mystery hat! Yes! Dude, we're doing so well! Well that was easy. Here you go homie, got your hat. God damn. Two dear nodes! At you dirt! My n dear, no one but you understands me. Aw. Thank you. Oh, I gotta punch your face too, sorry. <laughs> Nothing personal. Who are you? Oh my god, oh my god, it's you, no way. You're doing God's work here, little pal. Uh, sorry, let me back up. I'm Kamal. <gasps> yes! I used to work for Habit until... Well, that's not important right now. I've been keeping tabs on you. And by that I mean... Literally everyone won't shut up about you. <laughs> Do you like... Know what you're doing here? Oh, wow. Well, you're basically some kind of freaking prophet. People are starting to appreciate you. And your ways more than Dr. Habits. And Habit. He's not gonna like that. I know he's not gonna like that. Yeah. Do you think Habit is creepy? You got that right. Dr. Habit. He's bad news. Not only did he make cruel fun of my awful sepia tone teeth, but he... He... Have you met Martha? Sort of. Yeah, Martha. That thing sprung one of the biggest traumas of my life. Wanna hear about it? At one time it rained so hard her teeth got rusty. Have it sobbed, have it wailed, and have it... He... Stole everyone's mandated toothbrushes. He scrubbed her teeth so hard there were no toothbrushes left. And after that he... He... Made fun of his own assistant's weird teeth. Me! 
<laughs> Long story short, I'm no longer his assistant. You look like you're melting. And, and, I can't even fix my teeth. I'm like some kind of goblin. A horrible toothbrushless goblin. I've got all the power in the world to inhabit, you know. I've got months of dirt on him. I'm the only one who can get into his dumb office. But am I going to do anything about it? Nope. I'm going to just... Kind of... Sit here and sulk. I'll tell you more, but I'm... I'm really not in the mood. Maybe if my teeth were cleaner, I would be ready to chat. Bye bye until then. Bye. I need a picture of you first. And I need to punch your face as well. Okay. Oh, sorry, I need to punch this lady too. Alrighty. Good punching. Good punching. Oh, wait. I forgot this lady. You got anything to say to me before I punch you? Ah, flower! <laughs> it's so so relaxing up here. Uh, Although... Ooh, ooh, I keep hearing gibberish from that lady by the stairwell. Uh, She's ooh, certainly not from around here. Uh, if you manage to communicate with her, see if you can discover why she's so pouty. I've done that. Also, the weird lounge lady told you to say hi, told you to, say hi to me. Tell her hi, I guess. I can't talk with you now. I'm trying to book a slew of TV appearances. I think I'll shoot for the Joe's Bloody Hut deal. Yeah, I know that. Sorry. Go ahead, drink my tears. That's a weird thing to say. Isn't that a weird thing to say? Oh, wait. Sorry. Sorry. I know, I'm an asshole. I'm running around punching everybody. But I gotta do it. Who the hell are you? Uh, uh, uh. Where the hell did you come from? Don't eat me, vampire guy. That's 13. Should we hand over the picture of Kamal? Oh, Kamal! You finally came back from the terrace! I've been waiting for you, buddy. It's been far too long. Say, could you do me a favor for old times? I dropped my favorite record in that acid pond. Why don't you go grab it for me? Great! I'll tell you how, to, how warm you are. Cold. Over here? Chilly. Warmer. Hot. Boiling. Smoking, it's at your feet. Aha! Hey, you scare me. Don't shove stuff in my home like that. Oh, it's dissolved into smithereens. I was looking forward to listening to that. I'd give anything to hear that record one more time. Well, I guess we could find a copy of it in there, in the lounge. And we can hand over those glasses as well. But we might have to wait till the next episode because we're well out of time for today. We've got new people to talk to. We've got lots to do. Till then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll see you in the next one.